Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. Today we're going to be talking about all of the Black Series and Vintage Collection reveals at Hasbro's Fan First Tuesday livestream today for May the 4th. But real quick, before we do actually get into the news, if you would, go down and hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It does really help out a lot. And we are doing a giveaway at 2,500 subs. I think I'm going to give away an uh, archive uh, Black Series Commander Cody. So if you did miss out on that figure, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out and you actually have a chance to win. Anyway, guys, first up in the news, uh, we're going to cover Black Series first. And uh, first up are some Bad Batch figures, which are uh, pretty cool. So we did get... First up, a pipeline reveal for Omega, and um, uh, yeah, it's Omega right here. It's pretty much all we got was this photo, and uh, I believe that they said that she will be releasing in September of 2022. So not September, I'm sorry, spring of 2022. So an entire year from now, pretty much, which is a little unfortunate. But hopefully, we do see actual box images and all that kind of stuff first. Um, then we also got two more figures, and before I do get in those two figures, I do want to say Echo is not one of them, and that's very disappointing for me, because Echo is like a core member of the Bad Batch, and it's disappointing to not see his character, like, even revealed yet. And uh, if Omega's not coming out until, 20, or until like, 2022, like, spring of, of then, then Echo is probably going to be even later than that, so... If we have to wait till like fall of 2022 just to get Echo f in a TV show that comes out today, that's just very frustrating, and we shouldn't have to wait a year and a half to get this figure. But I don't know. This is my opinion. I would have liked to see him. Anyway, enough of the rant. Um, uh, the other two figures. First up is the Coruscant Guard with the Red Pauldron. We don't actually know the official name yet, not that I've seen at least. But it is the Coruscant Guard with the Red Pauldron, looking very, very nice. Uh, he is pretty cool, I gotta say. Definitely one of the ones I wanted the most from the trailers that I've seen. And, uh, honestly cannot wait for this guy. Uh, yeah, honestly I'm just super hyped. I would have wished that they had, like, a one without the Red Pauldron as well. Just because the Coruscant Guard, uh, kind of needs a remake since the last one was uh, exclusive and it's really hard to get now. So I would have liked one to be, like, just the Coruscant Guard, no Pauldron. Uh, but if not, this one, the pauldron might come off. Who knows? And uh, next up is Admiral Rampart, or Vice Admiral Rampart. And it's one of these figures that I could care less about. It's just like another reuse of an officer with a brand new head. One cool thing, it does have a mouse droid. That is pretty cool. We haven't got one of those in the Black Series yet. But other than that, it's just an Admiral dude that I could care less about. Maybe I would come to like him more once I see the TV show. I don't even know who this character is because I haven't seen the episode yet. Or whether he's, if he's even in the first episode, who knows. But I haven't seen this guy yet. I don't know who he is or what he's going to do. If he's a good guy, bad guy, who knows. So um, hopefully he's a good character, but who knows. And one weird thing about uh, the course on Guard's box is they didn't show a box, actually. They showed one for... Uh, uh, the Rampart dude, Vice Admiral Rampart, but they didn't show one for the Coruscant Guard, which is just really, really weird. Um, maybe because the box has spoilers or it shows, like, the name. Because maybe, like, uh, the like the actual Stormtrooper itself is a named character, like Commander Cody. I don't know. I haven't seen the show yet. It might be. But um, maybe they're trying to cover that up. Like, they don't want to spoil people who haven't seen it yet. So maybe this is like Commander Cody or Commander Thire or some random clone trooper that is actually says it on the box. So instead of just showing the box, they just revealed the figure itself. That's my guess. I don't know who it is, though. If it's not that, it shows another character on the box pretty well that you could guess and they don't want to reveal an extra character. But uh, yeah, this is a really weird thing. And uh, both of these Bad Batch figures are Walmart exclusives, which is very unfortunate. Just I could care less about the Admiral dude, but the Shock Trooper is such a cool figure, and he's going to be hard to get now that he is a Walmart exclusive. And the problem with this, though, is uh, this morning at 12 a.m., Walmart put up on pre-order, no, no, no notice at all, no announcement. They put up the Black Series Louisiana figure. No title, like no name for the figure, no image, nothing at all. The pre-order went up, though, which is very, very unfortunate because it's kind of like the whole... Uh, Clone Wars wave all over again, like, no image, you don't know what figure you're buying, and they put it up on their website at midnight, no notice at all. So, uh, we, we don't actually know what this figure is yet, but there's large speculation that this Louisiana figure is one of the two figures, uh, of the two Bad Batch figures. And, uh, that's gonna really suck, because these figures are supposed to go up May 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So the fact that one of these got out early is just really unfortunate because it's probably going to be out of stock by the time it's supposed to go up tomorrow. 
and uh, that is very unfortunate. But Yakface did say that uh, this one is actually the Admiral, Vice Admiral uh, Rampart. So it's a little bit better that it's not the Shock Trooper, but um, hopefully that this one isn't either of them and Yakface is wrong. But um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's just frustrating. Anyway, next up is Gaming Greats news. We did get two Gaming Greats figures. And um, first up, they're actually both from Fallen Order. First up is the Flame Trooper. This guy looks really cool, though, I gotta say. Definitely one I want to pick up. He's like a mix of uh, the uh, Snow Trooper and the Incinerator Trooper, kind of. You know, he looks really cool, though. Definitely digging his vibe, and uh, definitely gonna want to pick up one of these. Uh, he does have like a flamethrower, but he doesn't come with a flame effect to go with it, kind of like the Incinerator Trooper did. So I'm a little upset about that. It would have been nice to get like a flame effect to go with it, because what's a, what's a flame trooper without a flamethrower? So I don't know. That's my main criticism on that, but it's still a cool looking figure, and I'm definitely gonna have to pick him up. And the next one is another one that I could care less about, but it's a, a Knight Brother. Uh, dude from, it's a, basically just a, like a, a knight brother from Fallen Order. He does look cool, it's basically like a yellow mall, and uh, again, looks pretty cool. He does use that uh, comic book mall body with that like a uh, yellow style instead of red, but that shirtless mall body pretty much. He does have a brand new head, and uh, from the legs down is brand new as well. He is looking really, really nice, so... Uh, definitely a well-rounded figure, I do have to say. Pretty cool accessories to go in with him. I think I would have preferred maybe a Marin instead of a Knight Brother, but he, honestly, maybe even a Knight Sister. But he does look really cool. Might be one I have to pick up if I find him in stores. He's, I, if I had to guess, I think he's going to peg warm. That's just my guess, though. But, uh, yeah, he does look really cool, and it's a nice reuse of that mall body. Both of these figures are GameStop exclusive because they are part of the Game and Greats line, and will go up for pre-order tomorrow, May 5th, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And then last up in the Black series, this guy is not an exclusive, but it is actually a helmet. And it is the, uh... Death Watch Trooper Mandalorian helmet. So basically, it's a repaint of the Boba Fett helmet, but with that like nice blue, dark blue, like Death Watch colors from the Mandalorian TV show. And um, this is one that people have been asking for for quite a while. I'm pretty happy about this. Definitely looks really cool and might be one I have to pick up. I think it's just one that I've been wanting for a while. It's one that like they could easily repaint and they finally did it. So pretty excited about that. Might be one I have to pick up. And uh, yeah, it is looking really, really nice. And uh, some news regarding the Target exclusive. Exclusive uh, figures for uh, like you know the Clone Wars wave pretty much, and uh, you know there's been speculation of when they're gonna go for pre-order, when we're even gonna get an announcement when they will go for pre-order. Well, so for uh, Toys R Us in Canada, it went up this morning at 8:30 uh, Eastern time, and I've heard that that one was all right. It wasn't the best pre-order ever, but it definitely sold out pretty fast, is what I've heard from people who have actually pre-ordered it. Um, and then. It actually went up in UK on a website, I believe it was like uh, Action Figure Star or something like that. I, can't, I don't know the name of the website, I'll throw it up right now. I don't live in UK, so that's the reason why. But that they actually did go up on that website in the UK today. So uh, yeah, if you do need those pre-orders, go check out Toys R Us and uh, Action Figure Star or something like that. Again, I don't know the, the name, but they might still be in stock there. But there was no word of these figures at all at the live stream, so we don't know when they're going to go up in the U.S. My guess is that one random day they're just going to go up on Target.com, and we're going to have to get them that way, and it's going to be just absolutely impossible to get the pre-orders because we're never going to know when they're actually going to go up for pre-order, which is going to suck. And if they don't announce when they're going to go for pre-order, my guess is that they won't go up at all. They'll just randomly start showing up in stores, and that'll be it, which would really suck because these are going to be hard enough to find in stores, like... Even if you don't guarantee yourself a pre-order, it's going to be hard to get in store, so that does kind of suck. Moving on to Vintage Collection, there are two Vintage Collection figures that are not exclusive and then a few that are. So going over the two that aren't exclusive first up is Arc Trooper Echo. So it is Echo from the uh, Arc Trooper 3 pack. We actually are getting him released on a single card. Here he is right now. Looking very, very nice, do you have to say. Definitely one that uh, I already have because I did get the Arc Trooper 3 pack, but uh, I'd be pretty cool, I think, to get one like single carded. But, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world if I don't. Definitely cool looking, though. Definitely one that's kind of fitting for um, for today's reveal with uh, Bad Batch starting and Echo kind of being in it. But pretty cool and uh, definitely cannot wait. And uh, next up is the uh, Mandalorian uh, Jawa. 
And so this is not the one that comes with the Razor Crest. This one is the same figure, but with like different varying accessories. So that is pretty cool. I think they did this. So if you want to build an army of Jawas, you don't have to buy the Razor Crest so many times. You can just buy the Ewok, or I keep calling it Ewok, the Jawa separately. And that's a pretty cool idea. This one is not exclusive either. And uh, it does pretty cool. It does come with like the egg as well, which I think is pretty cool. Next up, the vote from the vault. Winner actually was announced today as well, and it is the Republic Trooper, which is something I'm super surprised about. I was not expecting this guy to win. I thought, at least last time I checked, it was pretty close between Starkiller and Weakway, and uh, Republic Trooper came out of nowhere. I'm really surprised about that. I thought Starkiller was going to win, and uh, I thought Weakway had a pretty good chance too, but no, the Republic Trooper won. Not complaining, it's a pretty cool looking figure, but it's not what I expected to win at all. And then there is also four the Vintage Collection figures uh, coming from the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm, the original 96 The line. first one is this Ewok here. Cannot remember the name. I am sorry about that. But it's this Ewok. Pretty cool. We did get him in the Black Series a little while ago. And uh, yeah, he is one of the original 96. Uh, the other three is the Death Star droid. This, this one actually looks really cool. Uh, there is Endor Luke Skywalker, and there is a Tusken Raider. So the uh, last three that I just announced, those will be Walmart exclusives, and I'm not sure about the Ewok. I believe they said he will go up for pre-order at a different live stream. They'll announce it. So right now they just announced him, but the pre-order will go live at a later date. But the uh, I believe all these were like this, but um, uh, these the last three, though, were Walmart exclusives. Anyway, guys, it is actually all the news we have for today. If you guys did enjoy the like button and subscribe for new to the channel, comment down below what do you guys think of these reveals. Would have been nice for a little less exclusives, but uh, yeah, we do have what we got and uh, cannot wait for more. Anyway, that is going to do it, like I said, for the video, so I'll see you guys in the next one.